Hi, Tom Wolsuski here. So I have seen a recent real estate ad running, and it states you don't get anything more for your money when you sell with a full service agent. Kind of bugs me, so I just wanted to go over briefly some items that you should definitely be getting. I have been in the industry for a while, so this is not the first time we have seen discount brokers appearing. Eventually, they're going to disappear as well as the market changes. So you should expect a couple of things, and you should get a detailed explanation from any agent you interview on how they handle these items. Communication is important, and you should be getting updates on a regular basis, a system that you can log into that you can see the status of your listing and what tasks have been completed it is important for complete transparency. A good marketing plan is absolutely needed that will get your home exposed to the most possible prospective buyers. Call, email, or text me if you are thinking about selling and I will share with you my 150 step marketing plan. Good marketing plan increases the visibility of your property online or via social media. This is important, especially since 95% of buyers start their search online. The more exposure you have, the more likely you are to find a buyer that will pay top dollar for your home. You can also go to a website I put together to find out more um, in detail of how I can help. I'll have information at the end of the video here. Now I'll give you a better idea on what I can do for you as a full service agent. If you had watched a previous quick market update video that I did recently, you would know that the market has shifted and there are more homes on the market, meaning more competition. So the importance of all of this is that to sell your home in a reasonable amount of time for the most money possible, you need a great marketing plan to get your home exposed to the most possible prospective buyers. With the recent shift in the market, okay, there are more homes on the market or more competition for prospective buyers. It will be difficult to sell by just placing the home on the MLS, placing a sign out front, and hoping the home sells. This is your average agent's marketing plan. So regardless of how much you pay to sell your home, make sure it includes a good marketing plan. I cannot stress that enough. When you are told how much your home will sell for, make sure you ask the agent you're interviewing, so what are you gonna do to get this price? In general, using a discount broker when the market shifts like it has generally doesn't work. Yeah, there are some exceptions, but be because they do little, if any, marketing of your home. If the market shifts again, and it just might over the next couple of years, the discount brokers will disappear just as they did in 2007 and 2008. Well, thanks for listening and make it a great day.